What's up, Internet? My name is Matt Gisantana. Welcome to the office where we discuss tech and the world around it. I am a professional photographer and videographer, and sometimes I find myself needing to switch back and forth between both modes. Yeah. Now, that means that some accessories may not work well for me, meaning a lot of cages out there are built for videographers. They're very bulky, they're very modular, but they have some drawbacks for people who like to take photos. So I've searched and searched and searched, and I've come across the EOS R cage by 8 Sin. Now this cage is a little bit different because it is meant to be a little bit more ergonomic. It is not meant for photographers. It is not solely for videographers. However, I believe that the lightweight and ergonomics of this cage might fit the needs of any hybrid shooter out there. And if you're like me and you shoot videos and photos, this cage might be for you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing, first impressions and install, and let's see how this thing checks out. Okay, so we have a top down view here. I hope you can see everything well. This is the eight sin cage for the EOS R. And I decided to pick this particular cage up through a recommendation from another creator out there. Shout out to Dean Jackson for helping me with this. Um, I looked at a lot of different cages, especially uh, the more popular ones, but this one especially being my first cage, I was really worried about ergonomics. And as I looked at as much as I could online about this one, I noticed that this one is really good for that. So let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed and we can check it out and see how it fits on the EOS R. So in the box, you get some snacks. Uh, these are looks like uh, marshmallow cheese puffs and you just get the cage very simple packaging so let's go ahead and get this opened up so first impressions this thing is nice and sturdy built well looks like you get two screws and a allen key have a tiny little mark here it looks like out of the box that's not good but looking around this thing is very very nicely built it feels really good so just a little tour around the cage you have a lot of mounting points you have a spot here for your hot shoe that goes on top of the camera as you can see you also have a view here for your screen and all your buttons everything is nice and exposed you also have mounts here for your neck strap and you have a cold shoe for attaching something else. Um, I'm not sure what you could put there, but maybe you want to put the microphone there so that you don't have to worry about uh, blocking a monitor or something that you have mounted at the top. Uh, so very sturdy. Kind of hear my ring hitting against it. It is all metal and has some nice mounting points, has uh, some quarter mounting points and some three eighths mounting points for different accessories and things that you can buy. Now, this is a little bit more ergonomic than the small rig cases that are very popular. Cages typically are meant for filmmakers. However, with this type of cage and it being ergonomic, I imagine that this might be a good option for hybrid shooters out there who need something that can stay on their camera all the time and be good for photo and video. So let's get it onto the camera and we'll see what it is like. Go ahead and take off my 35. And I'm gonna need to take off my Peak Design capture plate. Now I haven't done a review on the EOS R yet, but if you guys are interested in a review, let me know. Uh, I've been using this camera for a while. I moved on from the 6400, if you don't know, and uh, I've been enjoying it. All my videos in the past several months have been on this camera, along with that 35 to the 35 millimeter camera. So let's go ahead and figure out how we put this on. Looks like we just slide it in. There is a slot down there for the screw. All right, 
right, so once you get it on there, you get a nice snug fit. So first impressions in the hand. One, it was very easy to install. Two, this feels a little bit slippery because I'm losing a little bit of grip here. So as you can see, it comes up right to the edge, but this does add a lot of protection for the camera, which is what I want. I do want to start vlogging as much as possible. So this is a nice way to keep the camera protected and also have access to everything. You see the cutouts are very precise. You have access here to the remote microphone, headphone monitoring, and your HDMI and USB-C cable. Uh, you also have nice ergonomics here to remove the lenses. It's a nice little cutout. Um, the only complaint right now so far is really just the fact that this grip doesn't come out far, further enough, but it does do a nice job protecting the camera, which is what I wanted to do. You have a nice view of the screen, which is good. Uh, the hot shoe is nice and exposed and you have plenty of space to turn the on button on and off. So that's good. Um, and also here's the cold shoe. So just an example, you can take your shotgun mic and you can keep it on here like I normally do. Or let's say you have a monitor that you need to use. So you can attach your shotgun mic to the side like this on this code part, this code shoe. And then you can run the cable right here. Now with this shotgun mic, and especially it turns on and off if you plug it directly um, into the camera. So um, this is a pretty good shotgun mic. But if I wanted to add, let's say, a monitor arm or something like that, I could get the attachment here. Or if I had like a, a handle or something, it could get out the way with this cold shoe mount. So, so it has a lot of utility for those that have the need to mount different things. Feels a little slippery, but we'll see. All right, so actually stepping around the device, I've noticed some things that may be a problem, but nothing too concerning. So across the top, you have access to just about every button that you would need. However, if you do need the lock button, which you shouldn't need that that very often, um, you can slide your finger in there and kind of press it. Uh, but if you need to use the light on the screen, you have a hard time hitting that. You have to kind of slide your thumb in there and hit it. However, there is a tiny little groove that you can see right here where you can, let me zoom in a little bit, there you go. You can touch it so you can kind of get like that and turn the screen on. Um, Access to the mode dial is easy. Access to all the buttons on the back, of course, are easy. Right here, you have great access to your battery port. No issues here. Um, the connectivity to it is nice and solid. There's no bend, so things open and close very well. Um, I have a screen protector on this screen as well, and everything closes just fine, nice and smooth. You do have access to everything, of course, like I mentioned before on the side here. And if you need to lift the ports up, you can kind of go like that. Yeah. And you can take this one as well and kind of tuck it away. That's really cool because I never really wanted to take these off. I always want to keep them on just in case I need to protect the ports. But nice, nice coverage. I may add some sort of grip tape right here. That's the only complaint I have. This is very, very smooth. It does feel really nice in the hands. So if I'm using this, this nice little lip right here fits right in my hands very well. And I feel like I could hold this very steady. Uh, I will be using this over the next couple weeks. Um, I'm taking a trip and I will be doing some vlogging. So I will be, you know, commenting on how well this is working out for me over the next couple weeks. And I'll let you guys know, definitely leave a comment down below if you have any 
questions or concerns or comments. Uh, I am excited to try this out and, you know, up my game. This is one of the few accessories that I've recently purchased to kind of help with my hybrid shooting activities as I will be doing some different types of videos here on YouTube and I will be doing some videography for some clients. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell so you get notified when I have a video drop. Also, if you liked the video, hit that like button. It really helps the channel out, helps me get discovered fights against that algorithm that likes to push smaller channels like myself down. And I wanna give a huge shout out to all 2,100 subscribers. You guys mean a whole lot to me. Thank you guys for rocking with me. Thank you guys for your support. It really means a lot that you guys are watching my videos, sharing my videos, and commenting and interacting with me. This is why I do it. And I hope that my videos are helpful to you and anybody that you shared them with. So until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay up.